president has pulled us out of the JCPOA nuke treaty, imposed sanctions on Iran and tariffs on China, and he abides the regime change meddling in Venezuela and elsewhere. Is this erratic administration plus emerging Eurasian collaboration the perfect storm that can sink the U.S. dollar as the world's preeminent currency and our leadership among nations? Let's ask RT defense expert, longtime Pentagon official Michael Maloof, and Peter Schiff, chief economist and global strategist at Euro Pacific Capital. A welcome both. And Thank Michael, you. during the recent G7 meeting, I couldn't resist the temptation. I muted my TV. And to me, the body language was very telling. Is it my imagination or are other world leaders merely tolerating Trump's buffoonery? <laughs> Well, they're, they're trying to be polite to answer your question, but, uh, but on the other hand, they are looking in other directions. They see that the United States has gone, is going it alone uh, with its America First approach, which is uh, uh, basically controlled by the uh, neoconservatives uh, in, this, in this government. And, uh, and, as, and, and as a result of using economic warfare through sanctions and tariffs, tariff battles uh, with almost every country in the world these days, uh, they're looking for alternatives, and we're beginning to see Europe, our Western partner, Western partners there, beginning to look more eastward as a consequence. And I think uh, as a result of, of all of this, and, and with a benchmark of the Trump administration, as you point out, dropping out of the JCPOA, the Iran nuclear agreement, uh, in May last year, uh, that, that really set the tone for an acceleration of getting out from under the dominance of the U.S. dollar and the Western financial system, such as SWIFT and what have you, and looking for alternative approaches. And what we're seeing here is this acceleration. We're seeing uh, Russia, China, Iran, Turkey, uh, India, Pakistan, the BRICS countries uh, of uh, uh, Brazil, uh, China, R Russia, and, and even South Africa, beginning now t to look more eastward in, in, in this uh, pursuit. And uh, it's, uh, it's not stopping. It's, it's, uh, it's accelerating. And as a result of sanctions that are being put, in on, put on our European uh, friends, uh, they're looking more eastward as a consequence. So this is, uh, it, this is beginning to evolve, but, it, but it's uh, accelerating more rapidly now. Well, Peter, when I uh, hit the mute button during the G7, admittedly what I am observing is subjective, but numbers are objective. Measurably, how is the USA's stature faring under this mercurial president? Well, first of all, the problems that the United States have, go, you know, ha were, are way before Donald Trump. I mean, the, the real issue for the dollar and what's going to sink the dollar is our own fiscal profligacy. And these large deficits, budget deficits and trade deficits, uh, you know, were here long before we elected Donald Trump. Now, he has not done anything about it. Uh, in fact, the deficits are getting bigger, both trade and budget deficits. What has enabled this over the years has been the world's willingness to hold U.S. dollars as the primary reserve currency and to continue to loan money uh, to Americans and to the U.S. government so we can continue to live beyond our means. Uh, we can have enormous government programs that we don't pay for, and we can consume all sorts of goods that we don't manufacture. And we can live in an economy based on consumption and debt without having to save or produce. The world has done that for us. And I think this is what's going to come to an end. I think we're going to see a collapse in the value of the dollar. And, and when the dollar does collapse, America's power is going to dissipate. And Americans are going to have to deal with reality that we've hollowed out our infrastructure. We've been, you know, we've been living above our means. And there's going to be a day of reckoning uh, for these years of excesses. Unfortunately, you know, Trump didn't start this, but he may be the fall guy. Who knows? And it is uh, compound interest that's uh, eating it away. You said when, not if the dollar collapses, uh, Peter. You think it's inevitable? Of course it's inevitable, because we're not going to stop with the fiscal profligacy until it collapses. As long as the world is willing to keep lending Americans money, we'll keep spending it, uh, particularly uh, the government. So the only thing that's going to cause uh, a change is going to be a crisis. And it's going to be a dollar crisis. It's going to be a sovereign debt crisis. It should have already happened. But we've been able to kick the can down the road for many, many years. But the problem with all the can kicking is the underlying problems have gotten so much worse. So now it's a much bigger problem that we're going to have to deal with. 